Here is that new video of the oil that's spewing into the ocean. NOAA has just shut down. We have learned NOAA has just shut down another part of the Gulf of Mexico. That would make a total of about one-fifth of the Gulf of Mexico that is now shut down. Yet BP, BP is saying they're not interested in just how big the oil spill is. Really? Really, you ask? So do we. Also, up next, who is our most intriguing? That's next, right here on your list, your national conversation. This is Rick's List. On our follow-up list, what else? The oil spill in the Gulf that doesn't seem to be going away. It's interminable. This is video just released, as I showed you just a little while ago. Senator Bill Nelson's office put this out. BP was pressured into releasing this, by the way. They didn't do it because they wanted to. This is a video from a Sunday night after that tube was inserted. Now today, NOAA has shut down even more fishing in the Gulf. In all, more than 445,000 square miles. We're talking about 19% of the Gulf now off limits to any fishing. Also today, surveys are going to be conducted in Key West uh, after tar balls were found on the beach there. Now, by the way, to be fair, it's unclear at this point whether these balls originated from the spill, but testing will let us know very soon. Now, this is just more of the uncertainty around this disaster. For instance, that tube was inserted into the leaking well, had too much fanfare. Now, let me show you the animation so you can see exactly what they did. There it is once again, right? You see the submersible taking the insertion tube. It puts it in there, and it tries to suck out some of the oil that's already going out. Well, BP says that the tube is working, and it is sucking about 1,000 barrels a day. BP says that's 20% of what is leaking. Now, let's go back to the latest video. You see the amount of oil leaking out? Well, there are experts out there who looked at the velocity of particles and estimated how much oil is leaking. And some experts say it's really more like 70,000 barrels a day. So if you're only capturing 1,000 out of 70,000 barrels a day, are you really getting 20% of it? I don't think so. Listen to what historian Douglas Brinkley says about that. It was just a PR stunt. Um, BP has had a horrific time the last few weeks. They decided to kind of get the news cycle working in their favor this week. It worked for about three hours or four hours today. They did garner a couple newspaper headlines, but people like yourself and others are saying, you know, about 90 percent, 95 percent of the oil still gushing into the Gulf of Mexico. And where's the camera? Let's, let's see this tube at, in action right now. We, while I'm talking on the other side of the screen, could be showing video from the Gulf of, of, of this stemmed um, oil well, rushing and, out. And, 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 and that's, that's a good point.